Hello! Welcome back. Um, thanks for tuning in. I don't know what kind of priority watching this is to you. That's okay if it's not. We are right in the midst of a very changed world. Uh, my name's Kara. I use this channel to document a one-year-long low-buy project, uh, which helps me to keep a tight budget, which will help me to pay off my student loans. Um, but like anybody with any sort of financial strategy or hopes right now, uh, a lot of things are in flux because of the global pandemic. Um, yeah, there's just inescapable reevaluation of how to go about financial questions right now. And I do not have big answers. Uh, I am paying off some student loans so that I can carry on with my life and achieve a few simple things. <laughs> uh, like owning a home someday. But today I was actually hoping on just checking in in general because I have a plan to use this channel for four weeks out of a month, but I film on Mondays and I noticed on the calendar that there are a few months where there's a fifth Monday and this is one of them. It is, what is it, March? Gosh, I don't even want to reveal. I think it's the 30th. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's a fifth Monday, and what I thought of doing on these days, um, was sharing a book review of some kind of book that had had an impact on my life and how I approach things, and I picked one, uh, and this is a book that underlies why I really want to get out of debt and get on with certain small goals that I have. Um, this is a book... I had forgotten about and I found it when I was tidying up my bookshelves in the February declutter videos and just holding the book reminded me ah oh, this was one of those things that shaped the way I think about my life and and how I want it to go and it is a lot of the people I watch on YouTube that that are channels dedicated to getting out of debt or financial advice um, they say you need to know your why. Why do you want to get out of debt? Why do you want to become perhaps financially independent? Why why are you motivated to achieve the financial goal that you have? And this was a book that has shaped some of my why. I want to get out of debt because I want to build a very small, simple life. I want to have maybe a tiny house. Um, I want to raise some animals. I want to have a small amount of land. Um, and I want to maybe sustain that life by cottage industry, craft work, and local barter. Um, I want a simple life. I want something kind of basic. Just basic. And this is a book that kind of started me on that path to thinking that way about things. Um, it is called The Good Life Lab. I wonder if that's backwards on... Oh, well, whatever. Um, and I, it's a really cool looking book. It's like handcrafted in and of itself. Um, and it's just a story that this couple put together. Um, the author's name is Wendy Janahara Tremaine. Uh, and she and her partner, Mikey, his last name isn't really shared. That's okay. Um, it's just the story of how they changed their own lives from working in um, white collar jobs in New York City and feeling overwhelmed to moving to New Mexico and kind of doing like a do-it-yourself homestead and building their own home structures and gardening and um, everything that they learned along the way and it's inspiring and there's also here and there there are some really practical tips not necessarily for things that I want to do uh, I'm not much of a gardener, but I understand the value of it, and I might garden a little someday. Um, but th it's a it's a mindset change. It's about deciding what you want out of your life and having a goal that is like at the right scale for yourself that you can actually pull off. I want a human scale life. I want something that I and people with me can do with our own hands and. And I realize there's a certain amount of romanticism there that is not necessarily um, going to happen. But I'd like to see how much of it I could do for myself and with a small community. I like the idea of life at a human scale, at a human pace. Uh, a great deal of our culture is uh, pushing limits. Pushing limits as far as 
what our land can sustain, pushing limits as far as what people and their psyche can sustain, and it's always about more and faster. And I just don't know if that is really the best goal. <laughs> um, unending economic growth on a finite planet is just ultimately not going to work. And so you can either cooperate with the planet or you crash. And I like the idea of cooperating with it and doing my part to cooperate with it and not to ask so much, ask for more than my share of what the planet can do. So this is a book that shaped a lot of my thinking around that. It's not the only book, but it's one of them. It's weird to me that this is the first one I'm sharing. I, I haven't read it or really even picked it up for so long. But when I first encountered this book, it had a tremendous impact on me. So I commend it to you. Know why you have the goals that you have and pursue them well. And I hope that you are healthy and safe. I hope that you are taking measures that protect the people around you and the workers that your lifestyle depend on. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good week.